time. You gotta be shitting me. I can, you can't keep me cooped up in here, okay? I am a peacock. You gotta let me fly. What's going on, everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Daily Grind Trader. I'm Mark Fleetwood. I'm your host. Today, I've got three coins to talk about. Well, two coins and general market because I always consider Bitcoin to be the general market. So, Ravencoin, we're going to do a checkup on Ravencoin because we did break a critical resistance and we've only got one more to go before we could potentially go parabolic. Bitcoin to see the general market area and then one more, uh, one more coin that I think is going to break out of a consolidation within the next 24 to 48 hours. So guys, with that being said, let's get the obvious out of the way first. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I enjoy doing PA. I put it out there publicly so that you can use it, you can laugh at it, you can enjoy it. Whatever it is that you do with it, feel free to do so. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to try to speed things up, uh, clean up any dead air time, and just try to, think it, try to make things more streamlined. So with that being said, if you like this video, please let me know if you like the different style, different pace, and uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. But we're going to hop right in. We're going to hop into BTC. So Bitcoin. Bitcoin, we know it's been in a little bit of a retrace, this downward, this downward channel. You know, we can channel this, we can, we can watch this and see what it's doing. Now, the interesting thing is that it seems to have caught a support here that was an old channel, an old trading range after breaking the resistance at 59K and before breaking the resi resistance at 63K, there was a trading range. So as this was coming down, it was coming down and coming down. And it seems to have been respecting that old support from that trading range. So that's awesome. This should this should break resistance here and then start to retest 64K relatively soon. I expect that sometimes Monday or Tuesday that we're retesting 64K and then we're up, up and away. So the market is still looking strong. This is a standard retrace. This is nothing wrong with this retrace. And you can see just by the amount, you know, a 10%, a 10% bottom or 10% dip, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's cooling off indicator. It's making there be more room. Plus the MACD looks like it's ready to flip. The uh, Arun is ready to flip back up. And this is on the four hour time frame, just so you know. So everything's looking good to flip back up. Um, I think we break this very, very soon. With that out of the way, overall market looks good. Let's take a look at Ravencoin. Ravencoin, guys, we saw this here. We saw we had the downward channel that this has been running for a while. This is always since uh, Oct or August, they're running in this downward channel. And we broke it, we broke out. I work out. Uh, Ravencoin, so Ravencoin broke this channel. And the last Ravencoin video, I was saying that I expected it to run very tight into this because there's a little bit of a uh, an oddity where different support resistance lines uh, converge together. Price action tends to want to wedge itself as tight into those convergence as it can. So you see this price went really, really deep into here. And you know, it was kind of in a buildup. It stayed near this this resistance because they couldn't break this support to get down to this support. So that's when you get that kind of really, really tight buildup and it doesn't sell off far enough and then it breaks out. So what I believe to be the case is going to be that this little area here that I have drawn is a new support for where we're at now. Look, it was a resistance, a resistance, a resistance, another resistance here, it broke out, and then it touched as a support here on the flag. So it kind of broke out, flag, break up, flag. It will likely break up again, but if it were to bottom again, I think 1183 to 1168 would be the very bottom touch. You know, maybe a wick down to this bottom of this range would be possible. But I think this is going to be a new bottom, at least for the for the near term future, and we can solid it a little bit in this range. You know, we will range somewhere like this for you know maybe a week, at most a week. By November, we should be breaking out of this, and then we're in a potential parabolic area. We're into the potential to go super bullish, retest all time high. So then we're going to go way back, we're go way back, retest the 28 cent all time high. And then we're looking at the extensions, the Fibonacci extensions. I've, 
I've gone over them and drew them on many other videos for Ravencoin. But know that 45 to 50 cent range is the 1.618. The 2.618, if it extends beyond that, would be um, roughly 75 cents. So we are looking for end of year. We're looking for a parabolic run. And everybody's been calling it. That's not anything new. I'm not calling anything that no one else is calling. We're looking for the market to go parabolic. Bitcoin goes first. Then all season comes and alts go super parabolic. And we have a 50 to 75 cent Raven coin by the beginning of next year. I'd say by December, but just to be safe, uh, middle of January would probably be the latest. So with that being said, here comes the, the kicker for today, the breakout. Um, and this is a quick hitter trade breakout. Unfortunately, it's not available on Binance. I have to chart this on KuCoin. Um, we're looking at XRP. So first things first, I'm going to look just at the chart, XRP. You see it, it has made a nice bull flag. Well, not really a flag, more of a, more of a descending triangle which can, even in a bull market, a descending triangle can break down, but it's kind of rare that it happens in a bull market. It's still entered from the bottom and it should still break from the top. But you'd rather not see a descending triangle here, but it's still a strong breakout candidate, strong breakout potential. So we had our top touch, A, B, C, D, E. E should be the last bottom touch and it should be ready to start hitting this resistance and then fighting to break out of this resistance. Now I have a couple of different targets set for quick trades. So if we break out around two, around 112, first target would be 117 to 118. And that'd be a four to five percent gain. And if you're trading on margin like I do, 40 to 50% gain. And the second would be the highest touch of the wedge or of the triangle. And that would be 8 to 9% at 122.5 down to 121.4. That would be the range if you're trading it, if you're trading it on quick trades. If you're looking to hold, uh, this could potentially, again, this could be another one that the potential is a all-time high, a new all-time high. Depends on how far you want to hold it, but when I call for breakouts, it's typically a trade. It's typically getting in, getting out. You're looking to get out within a week. Um, actually, for me, I'm looking to get out within two to three days and, and get this breakout and then get this second target and then be gone. So that would be 80 to 90 percent profit for me on that. So real quick before I call the video, let's take a look at the indicators because the indicators are super strong. So as look, well. the, the Arun, the Arun is getting ready to do a bullish cross. So bulls coming up on the four hour, already a strong sign. Bulls coming up, they should gem up and should hold a little bit. Should be a gem up, something like this, where we got that last resistance touch. But it would hold a little bit longer and then break out. That is the hope. The RSI, the stochastic RSI, just flipped off a of bottom. It's coming back towards the top. And if you are not a fan of that RSI and you just want to go with the standard one, we can do that really quick. We can use a regular strength index. And we can see that we are sitting right around 44 on the RSI. And so there's plenty of room to grow on the RSI. And the MACD has been consolidating. It's been getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter until there's almost, you can't tell that it's moving. And that is, I'm gonna change this to green so it's easier to see. I've noticed that sometimes my uh, blue lines on the charts aren't easy to see. You can see it is almost flipping back up. And once it crosses here, it should flip back up to the positive side out of the negative. And again, all the all of the indicators have very bullish signs. So bulls coming up, MACD ready to flip, RSI in the 45 range where it can definitely jump up and, and make a big swing. So everything on, on Ripple, XRP looks good, looks ready to go. So with that being said, guys, that's the video. So far, under 10 minutes, so awesome. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this new format. As always, until next time, peace.